All right, everyone, a quick update for Turbo here. And Turbo, it does look like the top is in for Turbo, in my opinion. On the three-day chart here from the high to the low, smacked right into that 382 here. So what we're going to do here is go down to the daily chart on Turbo here and take a look at what is going on uh, on the smaller time frame here. And you can see that red line that we had drawn on the chart. It represents the support area from all this resistance back here, back here. Um, so you could see that it would provide some support. Uh, it looks like you're coming down there right now. So we're going to simply draw a, another fib here. It does look like the top is in, like I said. And go from the low to the high. Okay, that was our 382 here at that red line. So we're going to go ahead and get that off of the chart. Uh, and any lower than the red line that we had, the 1-3 area here, um, then yeah, that would confirm your top is in here. So you could potentially drop another 4.5%. And then if you take that out, you're probably in store for a deeper retracement. You can see the 0 .5 at 11.5 is a 16% drop. And then your 618 retracement down here at 3010 for a almost 27% drop here. Um, so just keep an eye on those support levels and we'll see, but it does look very toppy in my opinion. If you hold the 382, there is a chance you continue going back up, but that is a big if, especially off of this giant wick here. If we look over at the Heikinashi candles, they have rolled over to red, so it is trending down now. So just keep that in mind. So we will leave it at that on Pepe, or not Pepe, Turbo. Sorry, I just did a Pepe update uh, for Turbo here and just watch those levels and we'll see which way this thing ends up going. But yeah, it kind of does look like the top is in to me. So with that said, not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.